Indiana did find ways to win on game day last year. Eight victories, one shy of the school record. Head coach Tom Allen is joining us now. Coach, we heard you on the way in there kind of preaching to your team. This is a team now that has very high expectations surrounding it. How does the messaging change when you have high expectations and when you know the guys internally believe you can win? Well, you know, for me, I, I think the big thing is just about the consistency in your preparation. You know, uh, obviously, you know, when you go into this year, it, it does feel a little different. You know, we have a lot of guys that uh, have played a lot of football for us and, and have had some some success here, and that's uh, a, a great thing. It gives you a lot of confidence, but you can't let it allow you to have a different level of uh, urgency, and that, to me, is what we've been focusing on. I saw you mention to the media that you guys essentially scrimmaged on your first full day in pads. I mean, it's so unusual just to, yeah. uh, maybe people aren't aware of that. Maybe people who don't go to football practices routinely think you're scrimmaging all the time, but it's just not the way it works. Give us a sense of kind of what the calculation was in terms of how you get your team ready to play here in such a limited amount of time. Yeah, that's, you know, it's, it's a really challenging part of this, you know, because you're, you're working backwards from your opening day. And so uh, we always want to be able to have a preseason game, number one, three weeks out of your first game. And so that ended up being with the new schedule, our first day in full pads. And so we were in shells, the, you know, several days before that, but had never gone live. And so we've never had it happen where that day was our actual scrimmage day. So, you know, we modified the scrimmage. Um, but uh, we took about half the number of snaps that we would usually take in that setting. Uh, but at the same time, you got to get your team ready, you know, and so uh, I was really pleased with how it, it turned out. Let's dive into the X's and O's of this team a little bit. You have a young offensive coordinator, a new one in Nick Sheridan. This team was so good offensively a year ago. Give us a sense of schematically how things are going to compare. Well, really excited about Nick. 100% uh, confidence in him. I know this is his first time calling plays, uh, but uh, I, I just feel like that you know he's been here with us the entire time I've been the head coach. He's been our quarterbacks coach. Uh, the first two years was our tight ends coach last year. Now he's back to coaching quarterbacks. And so uh, I wanted a lot of consistency from our previous system that, that Kalen DeBoer brought here with him. I, I allowed him to come in and basically wholesale, install his new system, new terminology, new everything. But we kept it all the same and and Nick already knows it, believes in it. Uh, made some adjustments in some ways, but uh, just trying to, you know, every year you're a little bit different. do want to ask you a little bit about that passing game and your quarterback, Michael Penix, in particular. He knows the job is his coming into this year. How have you seen him grow into this position? Yeah, it's been encouraging. You know, a big focus for us this offseason was his leadership and uh, just being more aggressive verbally, uh, being more confident in how you – uh, confront your teammates, even on the field, guy doesn't do something right, having the courage and confidence to confront uh, in, the, in the right way and to, to take ownership of, of this entire offense and uh, did a really good job managing the, 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 the team on the field and leading the team on the field. I wanted to see him elevate his leadership off the field and, and, and ability to, to take care of his body and to do the little things that it takes to be able to to stay healthy and to stay on that field and to be able to play week after week after week in this conference. Last question for you, Coach. You had one very significant injury that we're aware of here in the preseason, losing Marcelino Ball to an ACL injury. How does that impact your back seven? Yeah, it's a tough loss for us and, and really, uh, really feel for him. He's worked extremely hard. And so uh, just got to, guys got to step up, you know, that's part of it. You know, you know last year we lost, you know, one of our best offensive players and, and uh, uh, early on and had to, the other guys had to be able to rise up in his position and it's going to be no different here. And, you know, Brian Fitzgerald is the young man that's going to be moving into his role on the team. Uh, obviously affects our depth. You know, he was a big part of special teams as well. So you can't lose a guy of his significance and, and not have an impact. But, uh, you know, it's going to give other guys opportunities, you know, and, and uh, Marston has been great in regards to helping those other guys, you know, learn the system and, and figure out what they need to do to, to step up. So we'll be able to let uh, other guys rise up. And that's why you recruit, that's why you develop the players. And when things like this happen, they're unfortunate, but they are part of a playing this game. And so you got to be able to, whether it happens during the season, before the season, whenever, you know, that's why you have to 
be a very, very good developmental team, which is our goal here is to recruit well, develop the guys when you get them here. And when opportunities like this uh, rise up, they got to take advantage of them. Head coach of the Indiana Hoosiers, Tom Allen. Always a pleasure, coach. Really appreciate it. And look forward to seeing your guys out on the field here in the not-too-distant future. Uh, thanks so much, Dave. Have an awesome day. Elio.